Hello everybody, I'm Chef Jeff from Smith's. Okay, so today I'm going to be making one of my favorite sorts of things. I love to make sheet pan dinners. They're so easy and convenient and you get everything done on one pan. And not only that, but it, there's a ton of different ways you can do it. And we're gonna do a sesame chicken and crispy Brussels sprouts on the sheet pan. So let's get right to it. Okay, chicken is gonna be first. Now sesame chicken traditionally is breaded. We're gonna be baking um, this one. Um, so let's get to seasoning it first with some salt and pepper. And then we're gonna throw an egg in there and give it a mix. And then I'm gonna just dump the flour right on top of it. You could dip it in the flour and sh shake off the excess, that sort of process, but I'm all for easy, so we're just going for it. And just put it in there, give it a mix, and then it's gonna go right on my pan, half of it, because the other half is gonna be for our Brussels sprouts. Get that out of the way, and I'm gonna change my gloves to, actually, I'm gonna spread this out first. Now that my hands are all sticky and chickeny, I need to change gloves because I don't want to get that all over my, my beautiful Brussels sprouts. Okay, Brussels sprouts next. All right, so basically Brussels sprouts I've halved um, and trimmed, and then I'm gonna just give them some olive, or sesame oil, sorry, and then some salt and pepper, and then give them a stir, and then they go on the pan. My oven is preheated to 475, so it's a hot oven. Put that back here, out of the way. Take my gloves off, and again, this is gonna go in the oven. And then, I have one that's already in the oven, so what I, what I did is I um, put it in the oven, and then I turn them over about halfway through the cooking time just so both sides cook. I've already got one that's to that stage. Let's see how we've, we've done here. Get that in the oven, and I pull out the one that's finished, and I'm gonna let this sit here for just one second. Now we need to make our sauce, and it's super quick and super easy. What I'm gonna do in my saucepan, there's a lot of ingredients, so just know that, but know that it's super easy. So in goes garlic, and then some ginger, and then this is soy sauce, and then this is pomegranate juice. So our sweetness in the here is coming from a couple different ways that aren't sugar. So I've got the pomegranate juice, and then this is honey, now another thing to say about this sauce is that don't be expecting like the sweet, sweet stuff that you get out of a takeout, takeout restaurant because it's not. If you like it sweeter, just simply add more sugar or whatever to it. So just taste it and decide how you like it. Um, that was uh, our, uh, I can't even remember what that one was, I have to look at the recipe. Um, but this one is uh, cider vinegar. Um, it was balsamic vinegar, sorry. And then this one is molasses. Man, I. I just get going with all these ingredients, I forget, you know, whatever. And then next is gonna go our peanut butter. And so that's just gonna all just kinda boil together and then you're gonna let it boil and then eventually it will reduce down so we're not thickening it either, so it kind of thickens on its own. So then I put our sauce on there and then I'm gonna save some sauce because I need some at the end and then I toss it around and then this is gonna go back in the oven and then I have one that's done. So let's see how we did. Pull out our finished one. Looking fantastic. Super easy. Sheet pan, um, sesame chicken, and then we're gonna put it on our plate. We've just got some seasoned rice there. Let's get our chicken on there. This is super easy. One pan meal, two pans for the sauce, but you get the idea. Either way, super easy. I'm gonna garnish with some sesame seeds, some green onion, and then of course, I'm gonna need a little bit more of that sauce on there. And that is that, super easy. Of course, you can get all of these ingredients at your local Smiths. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for shopping. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.